to the next. What is the the third and the final topic? And we got TMZ reporting. That's how you know it's going to be a juicy one. Uh, TMZ reporting a crazy jewelry heist scene on NCIS New Orleans got way too real for the actors involved when real cops showed up and pointed their guns at them. And now they're suing the actors, not the cops. The two actors involved in the scene, along with the jewelry store owner, have filed a lawsuit in L.A. against CBS for allegedly misleading them into shooting a realistic guerrilla style armed robbery in broad daylight without proper permits or giving cops and neighbors a heads up. The networks filed docs to get the case tossed out of California court, arguing that it involves events that took place in Louisiana. That that story was so there you um, go. that that story was so weird when I when I first saw it because and and you know when I read up about it uh, uh, more today. I just go ahead. I'm just confused by the lawyer named Alan Jackson. I'm like, wow, his career took a turn. What's wrong with Alan Jackson? <laughs> it's not. Is they, isn't that a country singer? I I have no idea. I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like that reminds me of Office Space when uh the, one of the characters' name was Michael Bolton. <laughs> yeah, but uh no, this story is wild. The the whole the and when it can TMZ confirmed what I was thinking, CBS did not get permits or permission. They did not give the police a heads up of what they were about to do. So uh, the store, I guess, across the street next door, some uh, some other store owner was like. Um, they called nine one one. Uh, my uh, the owner next across the street from me is being robbed, and I could only imagine. I am so I am so thankful that it was it didn't turn out uh, as worse as it could have. Oh my god! Right? These actors were holding what looked like AK forty seven. Uh, you saw the footage. Uh, from that was real footage from from before the, I guess the incident happened. They were recording themselves maybe on Instagram or something like that, and with the ski mask with the suits, it looked. It looked like some like a cop's. Uh, I, I could just um, only imagine a cop going in like uh, after seeing all those action movies. Like this is I'm gonna save the day kind of a mentality. It could have yeah. it could have been really bad with, with the way it was laid out. So very fired. Like I I've worked enough like bad, <laughs> low budget non union like student films and indie films and stuff. It's like. I would, I wouldn't do it. I would never ask an actor to do it. The concept that NCIS is sending people in like, eh, permits, eh, just go in there with a gun is insane. Yeah, just, just shoot, uh, shoot fast, shoot the scene real quick, get in, get out. Like, uh, like That's it was a, a, when really it's a like, heist. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot like a scene of my friends talking in this Starbucks real low key. Not if someone has a fake gun. Right, right. I mean. I don't you're you're right. Somebody is getting fired. CBS I mean, yeah. isn't they're they're not commenting on it yet, but somebody's got to get thrown under the bus. The showrunner, somebody. CBS cannot take that kind of a hit that they failed to secure a permit, that they failed to give the cops a heads up. Those are the well, that's first part of what's two been things. crazy. It's not just like, oh, this one person messed up. It's like sh- that decision that takes so many gone levels. through the chain of command. Yeah. That's, there's so many uh, people that are going to be thrown under the bus under, the, under yeah. that. The, C, the CEO of CBS is like, oh, I'm not going down for this. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. I mean, could you imagine if the scene required um, shooting or, or fake explosions or something oh, like man. that? People would have freaked out. The yeah. first thing that the police would have done was would give a heads up or, or at least the showrunners should have given a heads up to the people around. That at, at the very least, that should have happened. Telling the people I around. Do murder mysteries mm-hmm. in an old spaghetti factory mm-hmm. sometimes. And we give the people eating in the old spaghetti factory a heads up that we have a cap gun in the murder mystery. Right. Exactly. In an old spaghetti factory. <laughs> Because you don't want people to freak out. I mean, people, the yeah. people have been and you killed. don't know yet. You yeah. don't know who has, I mean, for us, it's less because it's a pretty quick, like, oh, that was a bit. But like, yeah, you don't know who's going to like freak out. You don't know. Who's, I I operate under the assumption that everyone has a gun and might kill me. So right. like. 
and, and you don't know how some cops might re, re, uh, react to something like that from seeing yeah, that. No, have, there not there have been people who have been killed uh, with toy guns because less, a cop yeah. came in hot. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that didn't uh, turn out that way this time. But it, it see, somebody's got to go down for this because that that was a huge screw up. And, yeah, uh, unacceptable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, and totally unacceptable. So I'm gonna keep an eye out on that story, see if there's any development on it, and I'll probably post it out on our social media, any uh, updates on it. But, I yeah. trust, I trust beloved country music icon Alan Jackson to get to the bottom of this. Oh yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure.